Panzer Faust III is a man-portable anti-tank weapon that was first used by the Bundeswehr in 1987. It is the modern-day successor to the famous Panzer Faust of World War II. It was initially intended to combat the Soviet T-72 and the T-80 main battle tanks. At the time of its introduction, it was one of the highest performance weapons of its class, and the improved variants of the Panzer Faust III are among the world's most powerful anti-tank rocket launchers. It is known for its compact, lightweight design, which allows it to be fired by a single infantryman. Its ergonomics follow a predefined standard, and the controls, including its pistol grip, were designed to be easily handled from all positions. It consists of a disposable canister with a 110 mm warhead and reusable firing and sighting device. Its bigger diameter makes them substantially larger than those of the M72 Law, and as a result, they can pierce much more armor, including up to 800 mm of steel armor plate. The warhead also has a safety system that allows it to arm after five meters and detonate on impact or when its propellant runs out. Unlike many anti-tank weapons, the Panzer Faust III may be shot from an enclosed place, such as a building room, without harming the people behind it with the rocket's backblast. In 1989, Japan became the first export customer of this weapon. In 1991. The company made its second export sale to Switzerland. Austria, Belgium, Iraq, Italy, Mauritius, the Netherlands, Peru, and South Korea are also users of this weapon. It first saw action in Afghanistan. Over the years, many Panzer Faust III variants have been mass-produced. The first of which is the Panzer Faust III T, which was a major upgrade on the original. It introduced the dual hollow charge 3T tandem heat warhead, which included an explosive charge in its spike. This purest explosive reactive armor, or ERA, allowing a second warhead to damage a tank's primary armor. It is effective against target to 300 meter moving, 400 meter stationary, which is the same as the original Panzer Faust III. The Panzer Faust III-T was followed by other variants. The Panzer Faust III T600 and Panzer Faust III IT were two of the most effective, with the latter being able to defeat heavily armored tanks with ERA. The Panzer Faust III T600 has a range of 600 meters for moving targets. The Panzer Faust III IT600, its most recent model, also has a range of 600 meters owing to its Dyna range firing control unit, which assists with sighting and targeting. It is capable of penetrating 900 plus millimeter armor behind ERA. Other notable variants are the Panzer Faust III LR with a range of 800 meters and the ability to penetrate 700 millimeter of armor, and the Bunker Faust, an anti-structure version designed for urban combat. It employs a 106 millimeter tandem high explosive, explosive dual-purpose rocket capable of breaking through buildings and field obstacles. So, how does the Panzer Faust III help the Ukrainians? The Russian invasion of Ukraine marks a turning point. Both Germany and Netherlands have agreed sending the Panzer Faust III to Ukraine, and the Dutch government are supplying 50 Panzer Faust III anti-tank weapons. The latest variants of the Panzer Faust III have a range of just 800 meters. In comparison, the Russian T-90 tank's main gun, the 125 mm 2A46, has a range of more than 3,000 meters. As with other anti-tank weapons, the person firing it must remain hidden until attackers are within range and must be able to move rapidly after shooting. But the Panzer Faust III is still a formidable threat to the armor, with recent variants containing a double explosive charge, one to detonate explosive reactive armor defenses that are common on many Russian tanks, while the second charge penetrates the armor. Many pictures and videos have been circulated in social media that the Panzer Faust III has hit some Russian tanks, implying that it plays a significant role for the Ukrainians against the Russian invaders. Well, that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye bye.